All right, so you're wondering what it's like to live in Durango, Colorado. Like you're starting to get a feel for what Durango is like, but what is a day-to-day -day like in Durango in comparison to a bigger town or a different town? So what I did is I wanted to give my perspective, but also bring my wife on so she can give her perspective as well. And we're getting after it right now. What's up guys, this is John Burden over at Woosaw Properties here in Durango, Colorado. Now we're getting calls, texts, emails every single day from people wanting to move here to Durango and we absolutely love it. If you're even thinking about moving to Durango, make sure to give us a call, text, email. We've got your back when it comes to moving here to Durango. So I'm gonna first um, ask my wife's perspective, Sharia, what is your kind of day-to-day -day look like? Like give people an idea of what it looks like. We live about 10 minutes from downtown Durango what does just kind of a day-to-day -day look like for you? Yeah, so in the summer, um, I loved it because I could get up early mm -hmm. and go for a hike in town, like because it takes me 10, 12 minutes just to get to the trailhead. Mm -hmm. um, then go uh, pick up some groceries that maybe I put like a pickup order for and then come back home and be back in time to feed Ezra, and um, which is our son, mm -hmm. and kind of just get the day going. And uh, maybe later I would have uh, I have some like yoga connections like where I know um, a lady from church who can teach yoga and um, speaking of our church it's like we have a really amazing church community that we mm -hmm. meet with on Wednesdays and that's where we've made a lot of connections and a lot of people who've lived here a lot longer than us so yeah. they've shown us around and uh, been able to introduce kind of what they love to do and then we've been able yeah. to see what we like and what we love to do too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just on that note, so with those connections we've been able to make in town, I think for both of us, it's been a lot stronger connections, a lot more amazing connections than we've been able to make um, in bigger towns that we've lived in. So for example, I've got some buddies and, and just on that note, they've been able to, a lot of these people love the outdoors and are outdoor fanatics. So we're going on long hikes, backpacking trips. We've done uh, El Diente Traverse, Mount Wilson. We've done several 14ers in one day. We've done uh, fly fishing trips for two, three days in a row um, with all just connections from our community, from our church, where it's a lot harder to find those connections in general uh, in bigger towns, in my opinion. And so just everyone here seems to love the outdoors. And that's just a commonality between everyone here. Um, so what are some of the other things that you've seen or you've done on maybe a longer weekend? Uh, just kind of give an example of a weekend might look like for us. Yeah, so um, we do have a couple of lakes close by, which mm -hmm. is really awesome. So within, it depends on which one we go to, but within like probably 15, 20, 25 minutes, we can get to a lake and yeah. take our paddle boards that we have, inflatable paddle boards, and just mm -hmm. go out for the morning or spend the day. Um, there's also in the winter snowshoeing available just mm -hmm. about again 15 minutes away or so which is really nice it's yeah. at one of the lakes that's open in okay. the summer so Prevalent. yep it's a multi mm -hmm. multi-use lake in both seasons yeah. which is really nice yeah it's super nice yeah um, also just being able to go into town and uh, if we wanted to go on a family walk on the river mm -hmm. trail that's a great option just because we can yeah. take the stroller on there and walk as long or as little as we want and it's accessible to town. Mm -hmm. So that's that's really convenient and really nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so what are some of the other things that you would say um, in comparison to where we came from, from Albuquerque, that you can do and you just can do, you don't need to plan for it. Like you can just go out and do it. Uh, maybe some other examples of something you can do. Let's say you're done with work or done with the day, 5 p.m. you can go out and be back by 6, 6.30 to make dinner. Mm -hmm. I give just a few other ideas for people that are just, they work nine to five and then what can they really do after five o'clock and maybe the sun sets at seven? Yeah, so one of the, the most popular things that I've seen people do is go do the sky steps because mm -hmm. they're accessible, they're easy to get to, they're right in town, like they're right off of 10th Street in town. Mm -hmm. So you can just go right after work, park, and then climb the sky steps however long you want. There's 526 steps, I think. Mm -hmm. So you can hike all the way or climb all the way up to the college and um, get a little workout in before you go home. Yeah. So there's also some hikes in town itself that you can drive to just right from work, just um, get a hike in and then mm -hmm. head home yeah. after you're done with that. So it's very convenient, very Absolutely. nice. Absolutely, yeah. And during the summer, you were doing a few mount or mountain bike rides, but also road biking with mm -hmm. some friends. 
Um, just give an idea of kind of where you're going. The, are you able to go right out your door? What does that look like? Yeah, especially if you live right in town, but even here, like even living outside of town, you can just hit some of the county roads mm -hmm. and just they connect and actually lead into town, like through the river trail that I was mentioning earlier. Um, so you can uh, catch those, go as long as you want. Um, you can even, if you're in town, you can park by the North City Market and there's a great access point there for the river mm -hmm. if you want to go um, rafting or paddle boarding, mm -hmm. uh, but also catch the river trail for biking or uh, walking, so. Yeah, absolutely. And so a few things that I'll add on to that that I'm doing in my just day to day, you know, I, I'm able to work through the day, say at noon, I can go into town to use the community center um, to work out. They're only, they're kind of right on the edge of the north part of town. And so you've got the community center, they've got a great gym, they've got a track that goes around the basketball courts up above. Uh, they've got a swimming pool, they just renovated it for kids as well. And so that's a great option, especially in the winter, you're able to take your kids there even daily, um, they've got some really good prices on passes for the family, that kind of thing. And so we're able to go there. We can go into town. Um, like Sheree mentioned, you can go into town, go for a run on the Animus River Trail, 7.4 mile trail, uh, one way. And then there's a couple tracks in town as well that I'll go hit up, um, do speed work at. And again, there's a bunch of great biking trails in town too. So it's like, there's so much that you can do just after town or just after work from 5 to 6 p.m. and be back home from mountain biking to road biking and then again you're only 10 20 minutes from some lakes uh, like Lake Night Horse do a swim in the morning and be back and then we also just had a new uh, rock climbing gym uh, that was built over near Three Springs kind of southeast of town. Uh, any other thoughts that you would have as far as say you want to plan a little bit longer weekend trip what are some of the things on your list that you can knock out in a weekend or even just a one day long day? Mm. I'd probably say a trip up to Silverton mm -hmm. or even Uray because um, they're within an hour and a half to two hours, yeah. those two little towns. Mm -hmm. And so it's just fun just to get out of um, our normal day to day and just kind of go to another little neighboring mountain town and mm -hmm. kind of walk the downtown streets there. And there's also a river trail and array and um mm -hmm. just some like nice little hangout restaurants and spots up there yeah what, what do you love about those areas um i i guess i would say the silver so i've been mountain biking in silverton and i definitely loved that especially mm -hmm. in the fall because yeah. the trees are awesome. changing colors and it's just like more it's higher elevation so you get more yeah. of those colors and everything mm -hmm. and then also the historic feel i really love the historic um, downtown in Uray and Silverton. Mm -hmm. It's just really fun to see kind of what the town looked like yeah. way back when and kind of mm -hmm. like what it looks like now. So that's yeah. pretty fun too. And there's just some great um, local shops and restaurants too. Yeah. So it's really cool to just meet other people that live close by and um, just kind of get that like local small mountain town feel. Mm -hmm. Let's go even more in depth and kind of tell them what did your just generally, you don't have to say like who you met with, but what did your general say the last couple of weeks look like? Like places that you like to go, say coffee shops, say even a yoga studio. Like what are some of the names of those places if they're like, well, I really want to know what's what's the best thing to do? What things should I mm. look to do? So I love Durango uh, Coffee Company. That's mm -hmm. like one of my favorite coffee shops. There's several yeah. amazing coffee shops in town though. So that's just one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, I did go to Yoga Durango. Um, I do soul yoga, soul yoga with mm -hmm. um, the lady from my church I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Her name's Amy and she's awesome. Um, I'd say also uh, we love uh, Sage as a restaurant and then um, there's Zia Taqueria which we also yeah. love which Two locations. Yeah, there's two locations. They're very affordable and very delicious. So mm -hmm. um, there's some great pizza spots in town. Um, trying to think, what else? Yeah. Can you think of any? What's the other? Um, what's the other coffee shop that we met at the other day? Um, was it Taste? Taste is also a great coffee shop. There's two locations for that one too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then, oh, and then there's also the uh, Smiley Cafe. There you go. Yep. Yeah, so that one's that one's a great spot because you can go do some work or studying there. Mm -hmm. And they have a little um, local area that you can walk through that local artists 
um, sell their yeah, pieces really there, cool. which is really cool. And then mm -hmm. there's a little cafe that you can get coffee or little treats or lunch even. So, yeah. yeah. Any, any major downsides or roadblocks or issues you would say you have to living here compared to somewhere like Albuquerque? Um, I definitely would say there's just less available. So mm -hmm. um, just smaller stores and less selection of stores. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for something specific, a lot of times people, including us, have to order online probably because we can't find what we're looking for. Yeah. Um, so I'd probably say that's maybe one of the biggest downfalls. And uh, But otherwise, um, I think the trade-off is that you just get these amazing in-town hikes and mm -hmm. bikes and all these things that we didn't have in Albuquerque. So yeah. I think that that's a great trade-off, at least for me it is. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, guys, if you've been thinking about moving to Durango, make sure you give us a call, text, email, days, nights, weekends. We've got your back when moving to Durango. Thank you so much for watching.